On this mild November day, Princess Charlene of Monaco illuminated the Cap Fleury residence with her caring presence, accompanied by dedicated volunteers from the Chien de Coeur Association. The wife of Prince Albert brought a special touch of love and compassion to those who reside in the haven of peace. This meeting was not just a princely visit, but an eloquent demonstration of Princess Charlene of Monaco's sincere commitment to the well-being of the community and her deep love for our four-legged friends. The Chien de Coeur, an association dedicated to bringing comfort and joy to vulnerable people through encounters with therapy dogs, have found a determined ally in Princess Charlene of Monaco, and in this new video we give you more details. But before we go any further, we would like to welcome you to the first official channel dedicated to news about Monaco's princely family. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new video about Monaco's princely family. Thank you for your interest. This Thursday, November 23rd, Prince Albert's wife, Princess Charlene of Monaco, alongside her sister-in-law, Princess Caroline of Monaco, took part in the International Day of Children's Rights in Monaco, accompanied by her twins, Gabriella and Jack, and Balthazar, the five-year-old son of Charlotte Kasuragri and Dimitri Rassam. However, Princess Charlene of Monaco ended her evening alone, making another high-profile appearance. Indeed, the residents of Cap Fleury were greeted by a show of tenderness and elation as Mrs. Charlene exchanged warm hugs with the loving dogs and their devoted volunteers. Each embrace was a ray of light in the residence day, dispelling any trace of loneliness or sadness. The Chien de Coeur volunteers shared precious moments with Princess Charlene of Monaco, discussing the profound impact this interaction can have on the emotional well-being of the elderly. However, Princess Charlene of Monaco, known for her sensitivity and generous heart, listened with rapt attention, underlining the importance of this initiative that brings human warmth and affection. The sparkle of happiness in the residence eye testifies to the magical effects of the day. Princess Charlene of Monaco, with her simplicity and closeness, created an atmosphere of inclusiveness and sharing. Laughter, smiles and exchanges transcended the generational barriers making the gathering a moment of unity and communion. As she left the Cape Fleury residence, Princess Charlene took with her not only the memories of the day, but also the silent testimony to the power of love and compassion. The Chien de Coeur, through their noble mission, continue to bring light into the lives of those who need it most, and Princess Charlene of Monaco remains a benevolent ambassador of this noble cause. However, this day will remain etched in hearts, reminding us that, even with royalty, humanity and generosity can be the most precious jewels. Princess Charlene of Monaco's radiant presence breathed a breath of fresh air and hopped into the Cap Fleury residence, leaving behind a legacy of love that would endure well beyond this memorable day. So, what do you think of Princess Charlene's solo outing? Your answers in the comments, of course. Thank you once again and as always, take care.